Oh, hey, I'm Bill. Welcome back to Terp Talk, a show with heady questions and even headier dabs. It's the show where we interview the cannabis community and take progressively bigger dabs. And today, we would like to welcome back to appearance on Terp Talk, Feel Good Rosin. So, uh, welcome back. Thank you for having me, man. I'm really excited to be here. It's always fun chilling and a session. Hell yeah. Point one is Trapaya, which is award winning situation. Point two, Mimosa. Point three is the Jealousy Thin Mint. Purple Diesel. Point four is the Jealousy Thin Mint. Thin Mint Jealousy. Thin Mint Jealousy Duckman collab. Grown by Duckman. Washed and pressed by our man. So feel good rosin. And then we're ending it with Mr. ZMO, which is becoming quickly my favorite flavor. It is a uh, Mr. Nice Guy, Skittles, and Garlic Cocktail. All had a baby. It's a real like smooth, gassy, a little bit sweet blend. And then the rigs we have a uh, slick rig glass surge wave with a crazy faceted mib and it loops. Steve Sizlove, Avery York egg cycler, mini BTGB Yoshi egg, and that is a Dabber Jones Vincent Gordon collab turtle Raphael TMNT pump. And then I heard we're starting it out on some Miyagi Terp Lock, which we've never actually done this before. This is a new situation where we're both gonna cheers on some Terp Locks. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that. I'm excited for it too. I'm doing it on a bucket, but I have a feeling you're gonna want to do it on a slurp. <laughs> banger, hanger on the beautiful PSV. Wow. I'm gonna just traditional, you know, do a traditional situation. No, no, I like what you're doing. We each are doing our own style. Touche. Yeah, yeah. let's do it. The beauty of the TSV, it's a tool. You can kind of use it however you want. To be honest, this is I've only hit a uh, turp lock this a third time now, and I'm very nervous about it. Still <laughs> doing that, I didn't want to like. Yeah, I don't blame you. I just get scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And smart, better safe than sorry, cats. It's not my ass, <laughs> so don't want to break it. Reasonable. Yeah. Is that for you? Oh, it's for me. Holy shit. I'm sure, we're gonna talk about this more, but this trapaya is magical. Yeah. And got second place at the. Heady full moon sesh recently. Yeah. Just like a few weeks back in LA, right? Yeah, I was like, it's been a few weeks since I've dabbed this. Oh yeah, why? Because there's none left? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited to just have a little bit left in the freezer. Yeah. I do have, like I said, my my little uh maybe three gram bucket, but I double vac seal it, I date it, and it's in my freezer and keep it for God knows. Oof. Before you crack into it? Yeah, we'll see how it goes, you know? But I can always crack into it and then reseal it again, but I just like the idea of having it dated and it's like a... It's like a fine one. I love that. Exactly. I want to treat it as such, but ooh, this is a lot of rosin consumed. Oh, yeah. I guess this is entire, in the entirety it is, but for the P1s, this is pretty reasonable. It's pretty reasonable. Dab number four or five for me today. Oh, what the fuck? That looks good. Award-winning turf. All right, I'm going in at 540 and dropping because I want to feel the That's effects of this trapaya. I'm way too hot. It's okay. <clears throat> I'm going to Zach Brown it up. Always. And I'm going to hold this just to be safe. Ripping it up. Five fifty. Usually going at like five hundred. Maybe like five ten if you want to get spicy. But yeah, I want to get spicy. I'm at 540. I feel like with the chirp lock, no matter what, you have to hit it with the pinky out. <laughs> Thank you for the warning. Like, you gotta fucking... Gotta pinky out. You chirp gotta, lock. I don't know. Thank you. No. By the way, that turp cam of the trapio was insane. Looks so good. Yeah. Like, beautifully made hash, beautifully captured hash, and the Eddie draft. But <laughs> just cool. I feel like we, like the home shopping network almost, but more heady. What's the cut? Oh, yeah. So, for all of you who don't know, Trapaya is Tropicana Cookies and Papaya had a baby and kind of. Drop that baby on Tropical Island for six months, and that's the flavor you get. Yeah, sounds like so bad, Aaron. <laughs> it's real bad, but you get a you get a very like ripe fruit though, like overly ripe almost. 
Question one. Yes, sir. <laughs> Can you share some of your props for making these lovely rosin pens? Oh, these ones right here. Yeah. I really like these because I'm not really a huge pen fan, but they're really convenient for travel. And they're, they deliver a really good hit. So when I'm like away and don't have TSV in a rig, this comes in mega handy. Um, so <laughs> I can't really tell any of the tech. Yeah. But I can say shout out to Greg uh, from Jungle Voice. <laughs> He told me all of his tech. He's a very cool guy. And uh, I would say if you the best parts, uh, go definitely get some from him. Check him for sure. <laughs> Jungle Boys? Yes. And if you can't get Jungle Boys, get some feel good rosin because yeah. he's one slap and he absorbed some of that technology and brought it into his life. Yeah. But basically, there's just a way of doing that. Uh, the oven tech, there's just different methods now and other little things you can do mm -hmm. uh, to get that um, clarity and terpene preservation, if that makes sense. So you're not really cooking it like uh, a lot of other, um, or just not a lot of other people, but uh, uh, the, the traditional method of No, I mean, a lot of carts don't taste that great. Yeah. And a lot of rosin carts don't taste great either because they're either not, they're not processed right and then the, the cartridge itself is like low quality. Yeah. Uh, that was, you just uh, hit the nail on the head there. I was going to say, you can have the best chirps in the world, but if you don't have a, a good cart, uh, you know, I'm not saying that's the best one out there because I don't know what's this one, but uh, I've tried a lot of samples and a lot of other companies and stuff, but I'm... I'm yeah, me too. They look nice. I like that it's glass. And uh, I found myself enjoying using them. One pro tip is buy like two or three of them because after two or three hits of any rosin cart, you'll start to get too warm and then you'll start to get like a burning material. So you just hit it two or three times and then set it down and switch to the other one. <laughs> yeah, because that's a whole nother thing too is there's a whole learning curve with carts is it's not necessarily a replacement for a rig. Like when you're at home with the TSV, it's nothing like that. So tasty. It's like uh, when you're on the go and like Bill just did, took a puff or two. Uh, you know, put it back here. There you go. Yeah. In a, you know, a couple minutes or whatever. But especially uh, if you haven't smoked for most of the day. Oh yeah. Those things slap. And what rigs are we heating up? I'm heating up the turtle. Good old turtle. I'm heating up the rocket rig. Wow. Yeah. Slick rig glass surge wave with the faceted mid splash guard and the super sick rocket on the back. Whoa. So we're on the purple diesel actually. We're not on, this is purple diesel, I guess. Oh shit, okay. Good yeah. thing Good thing we have the Hades Giraffe and the ones and twos. Damn, that looks pretty fire. And don't mind the random particulate in there, that's just some spice and that happens. We literally did a deep cleaning of the shop yesterday. Yeah. Every Monday we deep clean the shop just in preparation for this hash cam. Yeah. And there's always some particulate flying in the air. We even have a hash box to keep it in, to keep it extra safe. Got you. Because I was like, I don't think that's from That's me. not from you. That's on the, yeah. that's from the parchment. Yeah. And from the long filming process. Got you. Okay. But we do the very best we can and, it's, and we keep it real. No, <laughs> that's great. Yeah. That's good to know. Yeah. David Duke, he said, what purple is it? Uh, so it's purple kush and sour diesel. Exactly. And it's a really fire combo and I wish I had more of it. Yes. <laughs> Um, and then we missed another one too. Josh said, what new flavors? Wow, great question, Josh. And I, I'm excited to hear this. So uh, <laughs> I'm washing RS11 from Duckman tomorrow. I got the ice and all the prep. Uh, that material is probably hella purple, huh? Yeah, no, it looks beautiful. That shit's real. So I'm excited to do that. The next freezer I'm getting, I'm excited for the Tokyo Bubbles, uh, Yellow Melons, and uh, there's a couple more. But yellow melons and Tokyo bubbles and those names just intrigued the fuck out of me. Oh, and beach wedding. Oof. Yes, beach wedding. Yeah, yeah. I want to try all those. Fuck yeah. They sound like a interesting situation. I love all the different types of rigs. Every time I come here, man. Great. Thank you. It is fun. It makes smoking way more fun when you can just try different things. Oh yeah. <laughs> and just to see all of the different uh, artwork and creativity that each different like glass makers uh, showcasing or expressing, you know? Oh yeah. It's really cool. Oh yeah. Oh, speaking of which, this is kind of a bigger like point two is looking bigger than I last remember it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going in at six hundred. Like I said, no way. Oh yeah, with the pack filler. Yes, yeah, you, are. You, know you are. You are. You are. You are. You are. I'm going in at five. Wait. I'm going in at 570 in a 30 mil right. with the big boy situation. 
I'm at 666 right now. I got it. Oh, away. that looks like a good temp. Please don't summon anything evil. I, well, I just had to let you know okay. that that was temp. <laughs> Here we go. 620 and lowering. Going in hot, baby. Wow. Cap that bad boy. Oh, shit. I got you. Thank you. Also, wait a second for it to melt before you start ripping. Let's go, go in, tell. That's it. You got this. Keep ripping. Oh, yeah, that's fucking beautiful. Don't forget to exhale. I hate <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow, he's living. He's living a little with that packed pillar, and it's still going. Prepare to just get cooked for the next, like, three or four inhales. <laughs> Thank you. Packed pillars really go the distance. Yeah. It's a burning spectrum. That was fire. I really, really like this flavor. You were already cooked before this, and now you're probably like, well done. Yeah, I'm getting there. I'm ready. Nice. My birdie eye. Nice. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Why does your local Costco staff think you take ice baths? So, <laughs> for several months now, when there's this thing happening called Croptober, yep, you got hash makers like me that are working their little patooties off, trying to fucking get it. And so, uh, I've been going to the same Costco, getting anywhere from 500 to 1,000 pounds of ice every week, like pretty religiously, in 24 pound increments. So it's a 24 pound bag of ice and I get 21 bags. So it's 504 pounds of ice and perfect. I just do that every wash. So um, that's how much ice I get. But basically it's a good amount. Probably 10 of the staff over the t different times have asked me, oh, why do you need that much ice? So I always thought, okay, uh, maybe I'm a bartender or sound. I was like, no. And then I just, it hit me one day and I was just like, oh yeah, I'm a fitness trainer. I just, I do ice baths with my, you know, it's my, it's my class or whatever the hell I say, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and it's the best because uh, it gets me through everything. Like even when the dude's like, uh, get trying to get me out of the receipt instead of, uh, you know, he's just like, hey, what do you do? I'm like, oh, you know, I do ice baths or whatever. You come into the thing. He's just like, oh no, okay. <laughs> And just, uh, I just thought it was funny. That is funny. And so literally now, uh, they're like, oh, that's the ice bath guy. <laughs> and then, uh, today or not today, um, two days ago when I got the ice, um, the cashier was like, oh, you're Mr. Ice bath. <laughs> and he's like, all right, Mr. Ice bath. And then he just calls me that now. So, wow. They already know you being a reg at your local Costco is goals. Shout out to Jojo, the manager of Costco. He's super dope. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Love that. Well, because you, uh, believe it or not, I would call the Costco and they'd say, oh, we got a hundred bags. It's ready to go. It's bullshit. Don't expect that the calls or the, the you know what I mean? It's like, I've come and been over there several times. There's no ice, even though they said there was a hundred. So <laughs> like, fuck it, don't call. Just show up. But uh, the, the manager's cool and they'll always bring in a pallet of ice. Uh, triple dab here. Uh, Mimosa. This one is looking sweaty. Very terpy. Let's put our rigs on the heat. Great call. I'm uh, taking a point three on a Yoshi. I'm, I'm going to use rig. the demon. Cool. I'll do the traditional slurper. No way. For a P3? Sla Cyclone. All right. And also, you might need to do the hang tech. Oh, yep. I already know. Um, oh. Also, this is point three of Mimosa. So I think I'm going to go in at like five... 50. Do you have a pillar in there? I do. It's just camouflage. It's hella camouflage. All right, I'm at I'm at the time for mini Yoshi cooking. I need to go 550. You said? Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh wait, I gotta think of a trap Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, you can go in at 540. Hold on. Ooh. All right.
Well, I just got roasted. Step to step. It's a beautiful thing. See, I told you it's a good time. You didn't. You didn't also need to die like I did. Only one of us. Oh, there's nothing left. I'm the worst. Did not need to hit that last time. <laughs> I didn't need to hit that that time either. <laughs> Whoa! No! Not at all. <laughs> oh. Oh, dude, that little Yoshi, that demon, crazy combo. I can't wait for you to hit it. Oh, fuck. It just cooked. Oh, fuck. It just cooked that B3 gone. <laughs> I wasn't so impressed with it. I'd be more dead. <laughs> wow, are we on the point four? Yes. This looks like Thin Min Jealousy and crazy. Uh, oh, Thin Min Jealousy. Looking pretty fiery. Is this a collab with Duckman? Yes, the collab. Amazing material grown by Armin and Duckman, and then done right by Feel Good Rosin. Yes. Looking decently particular free, except for, you know, one or two tiny splotches. Yeah. But that's what happens when you get this close in on anything almost. And the hatch looks amazing. Like, I would surf down that shit. <laughs> it's crazy to look at anything this close. Oh, yeah. No, it's not. I'm ready to smoke it. I know. You're just like, let me just recheck this before I smoke it. I don't think so. I'm going to say, but you said I'm going to do my. Giveaway ended. Stay tuned. Yeah. One more. Nice. Let's do it, guys. Oh, wait. I'm grabbing a use dab tool. I like it. I'm going to do the same. Reshi, I'm going to use a dead deck dab tool made from old skateboard wood. Thank you. Um, also, while we're talking about cleanliness of hash, here's the heady tech to know if there's any particulate in your hash. One, put it on your dabber. Thank you. Two, hold your dabber with hash up to light. Get blinded by light, but you can see if any particulars hanging off. Then three, hold up to like a dark wall or poster, and then look for any particular there. Actually, you should probably start with the wall first, and then the light second, because you get blinded by the light. And Drift up like a deuce and in the rover of the night. Exactly. So, million percent. Yeah. This is looking pretty good. It's ready to smoke. Did you get that, Tori? Yeah. Okay. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did. That was me being dumb. No, 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 no. Not at all. We love it. This thing requires a lot of lung. I kind of want to hit it with the rocket more. What, um, what are you hitting for the P5? What rig? The Avery Lab. This one? Yeah. Is it too much water? It's a tiny bit too much water, but I think we can make it work. Okay. I'm just trying to see. This thing, you gotta hit it pretty hard to get it moving, but once you get it moving, it's like perfect. I'll choose a different pillar, I think. See if I can. Because of this wider barrel to shorter barrel changes the airflow. You do on the big guy? Try on the big guy. I think what it will. What about a ton of beads in there? That could be. Throw a fucking bunch of ball bearings in there like yeah. a fucking shotgun. Oh, that one's actually kind of ripping pretty nice. Yeah. And for all your oil, I am scared because uh, I thought maybe mine would drip off. Tier three holding. All right. Oh. This is gonna be a big dab, Bill. You you thought of a great show. But it took a whole team. I definitely we got a good thing going uh, here. It's like, hey, do you want to you want to fuck around and fucking die? A little bit? <laughs> Some hash. All right. There we go. Switching to a rester last second because with the Avery, I feel like the airflow is better and it holds heat like crazy. Look at that XL. Yeah, it's ready for everything. I crank it up a little bit. Always low fan speed because then the the heat has more time to pass over your quartz. And uh, just turn the heat up if you're using bigger quartz or you want a quicker heat up time. That's the check for me. Yeah. I like that they tell you on the ads. That is nice, but all of our subscribers don't have any ads. They're just here hanging out with us. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to do my own feel good gauntlet. Wow, seven minute dabs has all the feel good. As Dario over in New Jersey. Oh, that's good luck, Dario. Yeah, he's the oh, yeah. one the original idea on the TSV. Nice. That we have finally brought to life. Oh man, you're doing that Yoshi setup? You're crazy. Here's the Yoshi uh, caddy if you want it. Oh, you know what I mean? Special Yoshi caddy situation. Just to set it down because I'll be in the top, but. Yeah, I don't know if the caddy's gonna be enough with that big of a nail, but it might. We'll see. Just baby it. Yeah, we are going on P4. Get ready, everyone. Yes, aggressive. Um, 
And then after that, we're doing giveaway. I think multiple giveaways. Yeah. And then it's P5. We love it. It's I guess we're giving it. I'm with it. I'm ready for it. Are you ready for it? You need some water? No. I need water. <laughs> oh, I do know. I think I left it like on the ground in by the mood mat wall. <laughs> nice. I, I feel like this is kind of a challenge to do. It is. It's the reason we call it the gauntlet. <laughs> yeah. Because it's not just taking a one gram down. That's a whole different ball game. It's better. It's it's like it's taking a one point five gram dab spread out over two and a half hours. Yes, and but it's also it's the difference between jumping into like an icy river or just or an ice slowly path. lowering lowering yourself into an icy river. Wow. You know what I mean? Like it's it's me. Total... You are the ice bath trainer. Oh yeah. So uh, you, you, would, ice you would know. Literally, no. You just bath. jump in. Yeah. You don't lower in, obviously. I go through 500 pounds of ice. I have fucking 40 students. Wow. It's soon awesome. to be 42. Yeah. Soon to be 42. <laughs> 420 students. The two brothers. Yeah. They're, they're ready. Yes. Yeah. Some... Like... All right. I'm ready for it. I got water. All right. How are you feeling? Our sinuses are open. Ooh. You gotta oxygenate your lungs. Like you're a fucking scuba diver, let's do it. I love that. Okay, I'm oxygenated. I was thinking about getting a video of this, but I'll save it for the P5s. That's gonna be, we have, oh, I wanna take a video one time. I never, I, that's the thing is I don't do a lot of uh, yeah. social media stuff. Just give it to Tori, he's got you. Oh, thanks, Tori. However, you probably know it way better than me. Uh, my lens may be dirty on the bottom. All right, let's tip down on this bad boy. Down. I'm probably, oh, I already know this is going to need to be the lowest possible. <laughs> okay, I'm going to let you go first because you're going to take a, a little longer to tip down than mine. So I got this, this, this. I'm on the... Yeah, I would set the dabber down just for safety cats. Put it above the... Yeah, I think that's the move. I like it. We're, we're all about safety cats around here. If you're dabbing, yeah. dab with buddies, have a spotter, and, uh... You know, make sure you have a reason for everything you do. Don't just be willy-nilly about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like to dance with the devil. <laughs> oh, so you I are willy-nilly. Like no, because I was completely aware of that. I was, like, balancing it. <laughs> well, don't forget about the cap. And yes. What kind of temps are you feeling? What are your thoughts on the cap? Uh, I'm at 650 right now because I always figured cap at the last possible second. Or do yeah, you think I should warm the cap with some of the heat? I like last possible second, but it doesn't matter too much. Uh, what are you doing, 600? 560. Okay. So I'm at 618. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go 570. I'm dead. Don't do it. Do 560. You have the giant pillar, I promise. <laughs> I got all this up, man. Fuck! You got this. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh my god. That's fire. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, me assaulted by Terps. Yeah, that tempo's proper. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't stop, huh? Nope. <laughs> wow. Look at that. It's like cradles. Slightly warm Pringles. Stood up. Thank you. Or is this a dumb play on the slogan? <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. Coming home with a second place. How was your experience with competing at the full moon sesh? Oh. Uh. I had an amazing experience. So it was nice to go down there and meet a lot of new people. And <laughs> uh, we're trying to get my brand out there and name. Uh, I'll come home with the validation of uh, the second piece win just under Tricone Taurus, which is great. But uh, it, it was really cool. My experience was awesome because uh, nice to see how other contests are doing it or how other events are. I've been doing a lot of different stuff and everyone kind of has their own little way of doing things. Uh, it was a lot of fun. And where was it at? 
Bro, uh, it was in LA. Nice. Yeah. And I've been looking into that competition or like session a little more. It looks like they're trying to do it all over the world. Yeah, it's cool. They do, uh, I believe they're trying to do one in that country. Wow. Um, yeah, in their profile, it was saying that. Yeah. Fuck yeah. So it's really cool to see how they're really trying to branch out and a worldwide. Uh, it's just really exciting to not only be a part of it, but to... to Fuck yeah, take home a trophy for our country. For the for the country. Baby. Second place in America yeah. in the full moon sesh. They're going to Bangkok, uh, Thailand, I believe. And then the Frog, Czech Republic. And a lot of cool places that are changing their laws. It's crazy. Three to five years ago in Thailand, you get your hand cut off for cannabis. Now they're opening up cookies on the main drag. It's yeah. an interesting world we live in. That's great. Shits are changing. Yeah. They're super heady. And we have three pairs of them on the website. And they're only like 40 or 50 bucks. And they're a really good present. And code TSVTV, you'll get a discount. We're on the last hash. One of my favorite hashes of all time. It's looking straight fucking magical on the screen right there. Mr. Zena. Do you know what these books are made out of? Magical situations? I have no idea. Sterling Silver, I think. Um... Mr. CMO is Mr. Nice Guy times Skittles times Garlic Cocktail. I really like how this is looking. It's an incredibly professional situation. I like the investing headies in the bottom right corner. I like how we're in the bottom left corner. I like how it says 0.5 Mr. CMO in the top right. I like how chat's there. I'm fucking loving everything. The only thing that could be better is if there was like a fucking penguin or polar bear skiing or sledding down these turfs. And like we could just have that magical. I know that's a huge ask and it may never happen, but I can dream. And I love animated creatures. I was raised on cartoons, you know, like Rock and Doodle and like, you know, Happy Feet type things. Happy Feet is great. Oh my God, yes. Happy Tree Friends. They're hitting me in the feels. Rescuers Down Under. That dad tool looks juicy. It is. It definitely is. All right, we're heating up. We have intro to that. How stupid and get ready to smoke it. Uh, get, I'm with it. I'm off it. <laughs> I'm, this is a very sick situation. <clears throat> Stay hydrated. Anyone who wants to take a P5 with us, now is a great time. Sure. We're both taking Mr. ZMOs. We gotta pause. We're just gonna take P5s and then answer any questions anyone has. Sign off. So, good time for us to fucking die. I have a really heady camera angle that I'm gonna set, which I'm excited for. I'm gonna use it as a picture actually once because you're looking real majestic right now. And now we got video, perfect video angle too. Just the, the most majestic wrecking of Mark. I've seen it in a minute. What's about to get? That's my oh, go take a fruit segment. Can you please help with that? Yeah. Thank you. I'm gonna stop that alarm. Sure. <laughs> there we go. All right. You ready to start jumping now? All right. Grab these turps right here, Mr. ZMO. Maybe you can take a picture of them before you put them into your body. <laughs> I think when he wants to take a P5 with us, this is the time. Please get ready. And uh, how you doing? Just do it after. Touche. Yeah. We'll just get wrecked, then we'll say goodbye, sign off, and we can do all the stories we want. Well, at least have the video. Yes. Is make it, gonna be I love making a video, bro. I do. We are about to get wrecked on a P5. P5. We're both making a video simultaneously of the situation while being yeah. while being videotaped on Twitch. Triple video. The coolest rigs ever. Invest in Eddie's. Wow. This one's for you. Yeah. No problem. And this one's for me. Oh, I got it. Oh, no, no, I got it. Cool. I'm going to up. Oh, I know that. Thank you. Probably going to be too hot. It's going to be too hot. I like where your head's at. Smart thinking. Which gives me enough time to use this dope ass. Who did this again? Slab Slicer 710 Dab Tools. That is one of the precious stone dab tools with like seven different precious stones all in one. Great vibes. I like the Slab Slicer vibe you're doing, so I'm going to join you there. I'm going to do a Slab Slicer Gyoto Chef Knife. Wow, we're really doing P5s? What the fuck did I sign up for? I'm a little rusty. After taking, like, we had a little scare. We thought we had to leave the uh, gallery. What temp? What temp? Ooh, what temp for this? I'd say five. Oh, on your thing? I'd say, like, 550. 570. 560 if you wanted to get spicy. Oh my god, you're a hero of mine. Just going right in there. It's been nice knowing you. God, the Globfather, weekend edition, just straight cooking. Oh, I'm getting in there too. Where'd we temp? Oh no, I need a cap. Oh no, I'll use this marble. It's fire rosin, so cool. it's easy to dab. 
Titi. Oh shit. I had to use the marble. It worked so well though. Like we just had a slope machine in here. We did. <laughs> <laughs> Wind. <coughs> Can you share a crazy canvas story from your past? Um, crazy like, did I tell you about the time? <laughs> Stuck in the back country of like his property and uh, he fucking trees to get out. Or at least so. Well, that was pretty. Tell me more. Definitely the, one of the craziest stories, so. <laughs> Holy fuck. I need to go. Let Mr. ZMO. What's that? There you go. It's a good death. Yeah. Oh, it was getting me. So, do the place for this property. And a storm was coming in. And so, I thought I had enough time to just jump in, go check on it real quick, and then come out. But I go in, slowly starting to just. By the time I get out into my car, it's like pouring down rain. Yeah, it's, it's like basically three or four miles off of the main road to go through two different gates. But before I even got to the first gate, there was like a fallen small tree. And uh, it's crazy, I got photos of all the trees too, it's us. <laughs> but I pulled the first tree, got through, just pulled it out. But then the second one, I got through the first gate, uh, went through and I saw another tree, the second tree, had fallen like this in the road and it was a big motherfucker so luckily i had a chainsaw i already had my shit kickers on and i fucking ripped my chainsaw up, take out the tree on both sides right here and i'm like dragging them out finally get them out and the third tree was literally in the road and i'm just like soaking wet at this point i chainsaw get it out and i had uh my key fob had fallen out of my pocket so i get back in the truck finally and it's like remote you know not in the car so i'm like fuck oh <laughs> oh well couldn't find it <laughs> until the next but uh the scariest thing was i basically was running at this point looking for my key fob but i thought it was at the last tree that i had just cut down and i was like oh it's only a hundred yards so i'm fucking running in the dark over to this tree no no not a good idea not a good idea at all and i swear to god if you look up it looks like a nightmare there's trees like swaying there's branches falling down all around me and shit and you're running yeah and dude i go and for a second do you have a light um yeah i had my like a little headlamp and shit but this is property bro like yeah. you know what i mean um but it was nuts because i see two little it looked like reflectors on the tree you know how sometimes i don't know if you're in the back country but you'll see they'll have little reflectors that are uh nailed onto trees and i was like damn those reflectors are hella fucking far away because they looked super far. They weren't reflectors. They were two eyes from a fucking animal. I don't know what it was because the reflectors blink like like a fucking, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I, was, I stopped. I was like, oh, fuck. And I was like, fuck my keys. Fuck all this shit. I saw another set of eyes, another set of eyes. But they like, I didn't know how, what it was, but it was probably 40 yards away. Yeah. But I just saw those eyes and I was like, fuck. And then I just started like screaming, like yelling, like to try to uh, make sure they're not following me. Cause in my head, I thought maybe they were coyotes or I don't know what would be in the rain. Wildcats at night. Oh yeah, most of the coyotes sound yeah. good. But uh, oh. yeah, but I just look over, pick up a big ass, like a rock or something. And I just start fucking running. Oof. And then uh, thankfully my car was still running my truck. But uh, I just, but it was fucking, I, I learned my lesson like one, fuck the keys. Two, I shouldn't have even been there in the storm. Definitely be, <laughs> that was one of my, yes. I'm glad you survived. Yeah, I did. And thank you for tuning in to Chirp Talk. Join us on twitch.tv backslash invest in headies on Tuesdays for a live stream and on occasional Sundays. Catch weekly videos on Mess and Hades YouTube. In fact, tomorrow at 5 p.m., uh, Magic Johnson episode is going to be super heady. Uh, we couldn't have done it without our special guest, Mark from Feel Good Rosin. Check him out. 
Bill, you're rosin. Thanks for having me. Fuck yeah. Thanks for coming, dude. This was hella fun. Yeah, it was. It's like one of our normal sessions, just hanging out. <laughs> no talking. Yeah. It's a little bit more structured to the dabbing. My highlight of it, I love, I love this. The turp lock. Nice. And those are pretty affordable too. Like I think they're only like three, four hundred. Uh, like 300 for that one, 400 for the Eddie Betty spaghetti one. Yeah. It's nice for, uh, I would do it at like night special occasions. You get a uh, true flavor as well. Yeah, I do. Exactly. Or if you're uh, doing tasters of new flavors. That's what Mark at Collier does. He like wants to hit it dry before approving it. But I'm like, not many people hit it dry. I'm a dry dabber. That's awesome. Depends on the situation. Well, on that note, let's wrap it up and get some food in us.